Alright people, welcome back to Daily Duels. We're dueling against Dunkin' Donuts. Alright. Delicious. <laughs> Using them Klebolas. Alright, well, this hand is fine. No complaints with this hand at all. I got plays. So, uh, you know. Oh, okay. Never mind. This is bad. Oh, I got Forbidden Chalice. What? Already? Don't you think I should wait? Don't you think you should wait? <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> like oh, I got an acid now. Like you, you know, you could have done it on my turn and wrecked my shit. You know, I'm except I forbidden chalice, but like, really, really? That's what, that's what you wanted to do? Like I guess. You know, look, look, I'm playing Cleese. You could have fucking pushed my shit in. You could have fucking pushed my shit in if I didn't have forbidden chalice. But first turn. Okay, that's what you want to do. Anyway, using Cleese. Wow, and then you scoop. Like, okay. Be right back. All right, let's try this again. So Cleese aren't dead. I'd definitely say they're still, you know, deck number five. Uh, they're not dead. You know, a ton of people are like, oh, they're dead. They're done. Like, no, no, no. They have the pendulum mechanic. As long as they have the pendulum mechanic, they are fine. So. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so I can add one Covenant card. Using them DDD. So, and now he can Fusion Shotgun? Okay. Well, let's see which deck is a better Pendulum deck. Your deck is sort of Pendulum. It's sort of everything, isn't it? So now he can Fusion Shotgun. So, like I said, the deck, it's not dead. It's not terrible. Oh, and then you're gonna summon uh, him. Okay. Just totally fine. Am I the only one that's not really impressed by this card? Maybe it's just me. I activate the pot. Do I want you? No. Do I want you? No. Do I want you? Yes. Because <laughs> you can search me for scout. So, so I'll go ahead and almost summon you. The mirror Force. The Manities. And then I'll end my turn during my end phase. I'll go ahead and search with Observer. Give me Scout. Simple as that. Like I said, the deck holds Pendulum mechanics, and Pendulum is a super powerful mechanic that, you know, uh, unless this deck is completely tore apart, like, you know, Scout banned. And even then, the, the Pendulum mechanic's not dead. It's just the deck's really hurt, you know. It's still just a powerful Pendulum deck, I must say. I know you're going to come after me. Let me reinforce you because I would like to keep my. For one, I need to get you off the field, and two, I would like to keep my observer. You gonna fuse again? Okay. Using them, using the odd eyes. Oh, I guess he doesn't have what it takes to fuse again. I'd also go ahead and search him for probably another one of this guy. Yep, I don't know. Because obvious plays are obvious. Did anybody said that? Anyway, you guys are probably reading the title and you're probably like, oh, ooh, snap. Oh, chemistry girl. Are you having chemistry with a girl, Daniel? Oh, shit. Like, no, it's not what you think. <laughs> it's not. It's, I, I swear to God, people, it's fucking not. <laughs> So I guess I should get to explain. All right. So I talked about this girl in a previous episode. I don't remember what episode, but I did. I knew you had MST. I'm like, watch him, watch him have MST. It's totally fine. Uh. Yeah, I don't know someone you. Go ahead and rough you up a little bit. I could actually see. That's the funny thing. <laughs> well, I see it now, but I could. Poke, poke. In phase two, set the bottomless on my turn. So I talked about her. The thing is, I forgot her name. Uh, I still don't remember her name, to tell you the truth. I, 
It's just totally stuck in my mind what her name is. <laughs> Man, another scout. My opponent wants the MST1 scout. Fine, I'll get the other scout. Now, if he doesn't seize this scout, then fuck. Because. <laughs> I should probably run like one of them at Cleaport. But uh, then I would have no way of even searching it. Alright, take a thousand. You don't have your fusion monster on the field anymore, so. So are you just going to normal summon your DDD and search for another coven card? Yep. That is fine. It's totally fine. You can have that down even what I'm mad at. So I decided to go ahead and talk to her, play with her. Maybe get to know her a little bit better, because what do I got to lose, right? Okay, and that gets you another DDD. Okay, I can't stop that. Let me search again. Are DDDs good? So far, I'm not really blown away. Maybe it's just me, but I'm not seeing it. They touch each other a lot. Like, they touch each other, but, you know, what are you fighting for? Are you going to pendulum summon? Gotta put him in scale. If you've had some DD monster except during the so if you can target one DD monster, get ready to any battle damage your opponent takes is half for us to turn off the special summon it. If you're doing take a thousand damage, you can only use the effect of DD or not. Okay. Okay. Alright. How about no pendulum summoning? That sounds totally fine to me. Like, how about not pendulum summoning? Hey. Hey. <laughs> Trust me that I'm not gonna get it. Which means... Number generator. No, number generator. <laughs> Number generator. Because you know what's also number generated? Me activating this sacrifice that I have at one. Like I said, some people. No. 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 It was programmed. Like, some people don't understand. Look at this. Vanity's bottomless sacrifice. Like, and I've been drawing these for like the last couple of turns too. That, that's the funny thing. No. No, it's not luck. It's not luck, it's math. You could be salty all you want, I mean. I, I get number I get fucked with number generator all the time. So with number generator this time being on my side, you know, got draw you bail like what constantly. No, um, it's not. Not really. Really, you. The true, the true definition of luck. Just the odds increase. The odds are just, just the odds of getting cards at one increased. Like you could be salty all you want, dude. I'm just telling you the truth. There's a number generator. I'm clearly sitting on cards at one. Clearly. You know, usually number generator fucks me by making me draw you bell all the damn time. So. If it wants to be on my side and allow me to get Vanity's Emptiness, then hey. <sighs> this man is just super salty. He's just like, oh, I'm just so lucky. You got no skill. It's so lucky. Blah, 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 blah. Like, I can't control what the fucking, what it gives to me. Shit. If it wants to give me fucking cards I want, give me cards I want. As long as they're not you, Bell. <laughs> 
So my opponent's probably going to quit, scoop it up, because there's no way in fuck he can do anything unless he has MST. Anyway. I decided to go ahead and talk to her after class. Class, calculus class is just... Bleh. My... It's a handful of work. Like, each problem at least takes a half a page, you know. So we turn it on homework, and then she just immediately hands us the next homework assignment, as, you know, due in, in a week, you know. And I don't mind when it's like, you know, we do a section, you do the homework. You do a section, you do the homework. But then sometimes she'll be like, all right, now two sections in this day, which means you have two times the homework. It's just like, that you said you were going to give us less homework. This is more homework. Like, what the fuck? <sighs> so... Uh, the homework, the lesson that she taught <laughs> in class, I was actually working on the homework and I actually ended up finishing the homework for that lesson. But then she tried to move on to the next lesson. And the next lesson, I was just like, whoa, whoa, okay, what's going on? But she didn't get time to finish, so we're going to be picking up Thursday. Anyway, class ends. Uh, stand outside. You know, she, uh, she comes out and she's like, oh, hey, you know, and we start talking. I'm uh, walking her. We're like walking, walking, talking. It's to know that. So. The reason why she's called Chemistry Girl, not because I sparked any chemistry with her, but she is just full on, she's chemistry major, like chemistry, like, whoa. So, pretty much, her major is chemistry, and you know, I even I, I even started a conversation like, so what engineering class are you, you know, what engineering are you going to be? Because, <laughs> you know, pretty much everybody in Calculus 3 is in engineering, you know? She's like, oh, no, engineering, cal uh, chemistry, like, oh, okay. She's like, yeah, it's for my uh, BA, so this is elective. Like, okay, it's just like me, you know, where we're not engineering majors like all these people who are in here in the calculus class, but, you know, it's still for our BA. So she's a cal so she's a chemistry major, and, you know, I was like, oh, well, you know, I don't have class right now because uh, algebra class, uh, we're just reviewing for the test on Thursday, so come on, come on. I'm assuming my opponent scooped it up. I don't know, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry that the Game decided to give me bump. Did we got decided to give me vanities? This deck is the uh, when it was the king of floodgates, and they, they want to continue with that. So I'm assuming my opponent quit here because the bar's filling up, and I guess he's like, "Oh, forget it. Maybe he'll quit because he thinks I'm okay." Like, no, nah, I'm chill. I'm just talking. You know, and eventually your bar's gonna fill up, and it's gonna be over anyway. So you know, I won. It's simple as that. Sorry. They decided to put vanities at one, which means that the number generator increased the odds of me getting it at one. Simple as that. You know, all of this. Drew it. All of it. None of this was searched. All draw. There we go. Alright, let's get another duelin. Be right back. Alright. Get another duelin. So, you know, I was totally planning on, you know, chilling with her. You know, getting to know her a little bit better. Because, you know, why not? Okay, that's fine. All right, so raccoons. Wow, no back row. No back row. You are crazy. You you are crazy. That's why someone's art. Give me scout. Hmm. Someone typed me on skip. Summon search. I don't think I can get killer this turn, but I could probably get it next turn. Yeah, I can get it next turn. Search you again. Go ahead and grab Monolith. I'll activate Scout. No. Scout, search me Sacrifice. Just search, 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 all their sacrifice. Go ahead and give me that to me. So, uh, I wanted to hang out with her, but then she was like, oh, well, I gotta go do my chemistry lab, you know, work, and it's, so I won't be able to chill. It's like, oh, that sucks. So, I didn't get to hang out with her. Uh, I'm not really worried about getting you or you on Grab Helix. I don't need him uh, right now. If if he gets rid of my scout, I can always just you know I have sacrifice. So what's more and more important, probably the back row one. Especially since I have the fiendish chain and shit for his raccoons. Like I'm about to fuck him up. I'm being complete control of this duel. You still have you know four unknowns, so it's not terrible. If I can kill this raccoon. Card's good. It's like a double-edged sword. It's like Forbidden Chalice, Negate Monster Effect. I'll also return my attack back to my original. 
Yeah, I missed you for Vin Chalice. But I think he should be played now since uh skill dreads that one. Alright. So you're gonna flip him up, you're gonna activate the effect, I'm gonna chain you up. Now if you wanna summon another raccoon and attempt to go for your XC, I don't care. It's not the raccoons that you should be afraid of, it's the back row, because the deck runs a lot of back row. Bambi. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Select your target. And after my scout. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna bring you across here. You can get in for an attack. Isn't that cool? Now you're at 600. Woo! Strong. Scary. Arr. <laughs> Badass. Go ahead and see into your, uh, your, uh, Raccoon guy. Retired to summon a token that's just as strong as my helix. Except my helix can't be destroyed by battle, so. Ooh. Yep, mm, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> like, mm -mm. I don't even know how. Getting rid of my scout. I don't even know how you're going to get around this. Alright, we'll get one more duel in. Be right back. Alright, another duel. Last duel, last duel. Definitely last duel. So, uh, she had to go, which sucked. And I was like, oh, well, you know, can I get your number? You know, kind of forward, but I was like, yeah. She's like, well, I really don't, you know, I really don't talk or hang out with anybody. You know, I'm curious. I usually keep them myself. And, you know, I don't give my number away. And just excuse after excuse. Like, look, if you don't want to give me your number, it's fine. You know, she's like, I'm just so busy. And, you know, I'll, she's like, I'll be less busy, uh, you know, after she takes her, uh, her, uh, her final for her lab class. You know, but so she, so she says she'll reschedule. You know, she'll go ahead and uh, you know, hang out with me and allow me to take her on a date when she's less busy. But you know, I was like, well, you know, she's like, oh yeah, I'm just I'm just so busy. I'm like, too busy for a boyfriend. She's like, yeah, I don't have a boyfriend. Like, nice. You know, she's really cute. You know, she's cute. Teeth are kind of crooked. That's, I'd say uh, there's one flaw with her. Her teeth are kind of crooked. But hey, my teeth aren't perfect either, and that's fine. You know, she's a white girl. She has black hair. She has pale skin. I. She wears glasses. I find that amazingly sexy. Like, sexy. Sorry. <laughs> like, I can come here to, to hear what you think is sexy. I'm sorry. I mean, you know, what do you guys think is sexy? Go ahead in the comment section below. Tell me what you guys think is sexy. Because I'm sorry. I, 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 I personally, I think that's super sexy. Yeah. And that's, not, that's, that's, that's my type of woman. Almost any type of woman is my type of woman. But, you know, I'm not that picky. But, yeah. I like you. I like you. <laughs> That's fine. I'm gonna tribute my monster, I'm assuming. Ooh, you're going to synchro with it. That's fine. I'm going to like what? Boyo Guardian? Wouldn't it just be better just to summon Jiaotzu and use its effect if you have the Yang Zings in your hand than take my monster with mind control? Yes. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Ah, uh, give me stuff. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but... I don't really get what was the point of that. Want to poke me with a Goyo Guardian? I don't care. <laughs> I mean, you know, at least he's going on the offensive. I, I, I'll give you credit what credit's due. You're going on the offensive. I shouldn't search for stealth. Search her for a lower level. Because I can search for Monolith. That was my bad. Poke me for 28? No, okay. You're not worth my fiendish chains right now. No, oh, never mind. I'm okay. So, I have to reach you. you. Got a mistake? No? Okay. Uh, monolith. I have to wait, monolith. 
Conjure them summon you. What do you do? What do you do? Damn it. Damn it. What do you do? Toggle a mush on the field and return to my hand. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and activate Monolith. Pendulum summon you two and then summon you. You got something? Uh. The same. Shouldn't be MST because you should MST the scout, so. Uh. Yeah. You and you. Okay. Pendulum Shokan. I mean, you too. You got bottomless? Solemn warning? Compulse. Okay. Well, I mean, at least that prevents me from doing my play that I was going to do. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Next turn, you're going to get killered, though. I guarantee it. And you're going to like when you get killered. I guarantee it. Go ahead. You chill. I was like... Now, look, see? See? See, that guy was getting all angry about the number generator. Look at this. Look at this. Mind control, pulse, like, there's nothing to get angry about. Well, I'm not going to go to the graveyard. I'll just go back to extract and I can be summoned again, so that's fine. You got that one. I don't want to So, uh, you know. She's looking forward, she's like, you know, we can totally, you know, talk and chill after that at the end of class, but she, she, she's just too busy, you know. But, you know, at least I didn't get flat out rejected, and she doesn't have a boyfriend. That's that's the cool thing, you know. She does not have a boyfriend. Alright, I'm gonna now summon three. Summon you, you, and you. Okay. Summon you. Summon you. Okay, I'm about to say you got something. Let's go. I'll pay the life points. Because pretty much I'm going to summon killer and this duel's going to be wrapped up anyway, so. Yeah, sure. What do you like? Return it to the hand, I think? Ah, sure, I'll put you back. Nope. Put you back, have killer kill you, and then I'll use, main phase two, I'll use my effect and send a monster, make you send a monster from your hand to graveyard. Nope. So, see, my points don't mean shit. I got this, I'm gonna have this door locked down. Like at this point, you might as well scoop it up. There's no way in fuck you're gonna be around towers. Absolutely none. I'd be impressed if you did. You know what? If you get around towers, I'll quit the duel. I mean, you probably, if you get around towers, you should be able to beat me, but. Get rid of a monster, please. I know you have one, because I returned one, so. No. Sure. I so said you're gonna be running out of steam soon anyway. All right, so I'm trying to think what I what I want to do next turn. Guess next turn I can go ahead and probably have to search because you know, well, draw three cards, throw out three motherfucking cards. I could probably slow down in the searching. So, so I draw like a stealth or something. No, I don't even draw. I just need to draw a clee. Just so I can pendulum something the back and then tribute, return that, and then use it to fact and make you pick a monster out of your hand again. Like so I'll just keep doing till the end of this duel. Come on, dude. You're taking forever with your fucking responses. Thank you. Shit. Go. Oh, take your turn. Lose. Set a monster. That's why I don't like Yangzin, because they're slow. 
slow, really slow, incredibly slow. Give me a monster. You got a monster in your hand? Or are you going to get rid of this monster on your field? Oh, you got a monster in your hand. Alright. That's kawaii. Alright. Let's go ahead and pendulum summon. Uh, don't really want to overextend. You know, at this point, I'm so good, I don't even care. Yeah, you three come back. So I tribute three to summon one, so it's like an egg, but then I can just summon them right back, so. So dumb. So dumb. Normal summon. Be two. Something new. Yes. Put that back in your hand, please. I have no idea what your background is, but it's it's taken like a millennium to respond with shit. And I guess I'll just keep doing that. Poking for thirteen. So weak right now, I'm only thirteen hundred. Like wow. <laughs> At least I can finish just train any monster that he's gonna think about summoning. Unless it's unaffected by traps. Oh, but I can always forbidden chalice and go back up to my original attack during the damage step. So I'd be like what, thirty one? Yeah. My original attack plus one hundred minus well okay, you're gonna surrender anyway, it doesn't matter. Ah <sighs> so yeah. Oh, and I had game anyway. Never mind. What am I talking about? <sighs> Cleaves are still not terrible. Anyway. So that's pretty much my day. So pretty much I'm just going to keep on talking to her, get to know her better. Like I said, she's single. She's cute. She's totally my type. And, you know, I'm not one of them needy guys that are just like, you know, I need your full intention. If you're a busy woman, hey, I understand. I'm a busy guy. But, you know, if we can get together and spend some time together, then I'm totally fine with that. So, you know, hopefully I can, uh, um, get on a good side and hopefully uh date her you know totally chill with that you know so first things first you know i just gotta convince her to give me a number <laughs> i hope she's not too busy and, you know she even has a job where she works at csn at the other campus tutoring for chemistry like this lady she just loves chemistry loves chemistry you know but she likes math too and she's smart she's cute she has a great personality she's funny she's easy to get along with easy to talk to you know? perfect I'm totally my type. So, this might be the first time where there's a girl single that Daniel might actually get a girl, you know. Can I get, the question is, can I get a girlfriend before I turn 21? I turn 21 in less than two months. So, you know, time, you know, clock is ticking. Clock is ticking. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow using Burning Abyss. All right, people. Thanks for watching.